I just got the death wobble going like how much. Slowly break, 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 break. Down, down, and, down, and, down and descend. It's so windy on day one. So day one riding in Adelaide. We are at Sea Cliff. The water's so nice, huh? So how's it, Paul? How's your, is this your first cycling trip? Nice. Radelaide. 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 So we're beginning our climb on Norton Summit. One of the climbs to do when you're in Adelaide. Frequently hosts Tour Down Under in Adelaide. So, uh, yeah. My partner in crime here. So how's your first Northern Summer experience? Yeah. Not bad. Let's push that here. Did well. Day three of our ride today. Uh, we're doing a big one. A century ride. Um, actually, I just stole it from uh, Chris Miller. He's actually down here. I just uh, stole his route. Um, so we're heading to Wollonga and McLaren Vale. And uh, going up the long climb, the famous long climb. That's all the ways beach it. And we tore down under. Um, I'm with Paul, as you can see. And uh, it's going to be a, a hot one today. Uh, it's already, uh, I think it was only 25, 26 degrees, and it was just after 6 a.m. So, yeah. Beautiful day or morning up Bel Air Road. We're actually going the opposite way from the first day, and look who's climbing up. Number one, <laughs> you make it look easy. All your friends are gonna notice. We're facing a mighty headwind on the way back. Adelaide after climbing Mount Wollonga. So we are about 40 k's 
outside of Adelaide. Um, we've passed McLaren Flat and uh, on route to Adelaide via the hills. We've come from the hills and we found this place and it's called Camel Farm. But there's a donkey. And uh, you can probably see there are a few camels as well. You can see again. So I think Paul's Paul's a little bit tired and uh, so we've, I've asked him to sort of take some more gels because uh, it's important to um, to feel when you're obviously doing a longer ride probably say anything above three hours you should you know feel try and focus on fueling up properly and uh, this bugger of a wind it's actually giving me death wobbles when I'm descending down um, the hills and it's actually pretty dangerous because I'm getting death wobbles very regularly and I think it's got to do with uh, the wind the strong winds in Adelaide here especially in the Adelaide hills and you can probably hear it now and this is like not strong but it's normally really really gusty Ouch! Yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not from Melbourne, so we're not very fast about coffee. Paul, oh, is this the most you've ever climbed in a day? It's so yeah. tough. I don't know how you guys do it. What's, so what's, what's, the, what's the toughest? Oh. What climb's the toughest? I think this is the last climb out yeah, Mount Lofty. Only because I've done so many other ones. And, other ones. and consecutive days? Yeah, consecutive days and being sore. That's no excuse. Yeah, uh, that, that is. And there's, has, there hasn't really been uh, a recovery ride for you, has it? So we've just, uh, I think this is, I don't know, day five, day six. And uh, we've met a Melbourne crew, uh, which they were nice enough for us to invite us on their ride. Um, so today's route is a, is a pretty hilly one. Uh, it's about 70k, 1400 meters, and uh, all the way to Stirling, hand off, and then coming back via Mount Lofty. So a big climbing day for me anyway. Um, and very good bunch of guys, uh, very friendly, uh, very like-minded, uh, like 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 us. So, yeah, enjoying it. So, we just finished a, um, a really nice ride. Turn left really onto ride. Hindley Street. But uh, a very nice ride. Sorry about the directions. On the way to meet the fan. As they're having lunch. Uh, went through Harndorf. Sterling and, um, and then on the way back up Mount Lofty. So I climbed up Mount Barker and uh, yeah, it's the start, it's the day of the, the quit race. Um, so the Cycling Village Festival's on. So I'll show you a bit of footage on that. <coughs> and, uh, and then we'll watch the quit race in the evening so it's been a really good day the route was really scenic um, Paul did really well because there's a lot of climbing um, so yeah mm -hmm. 